stuff focus. Snap to the gorilla. And the gay Rosh. Go Rosh. Just got through doing a quick 20, 10 minute heavy bag workout. That included some squats. Um, just got to doing it. And before that, I just got back from the stairs where I did some, uh, where I walked up the stairs very steep. Then I did some shadow boxing at the top against the, well, really it was a tree that I was hitting. And I got my kicks in as well, building uh, my shin strength by kicking the tree, you know, to, to my tolerance level, slowly building it up. Um, but, you know, I have one tidbit, one tip about building strong bones. Uh, one thing you don't want to do if you want to build strong bones is take calcium supplements. Take zero calcium supplements. Don't take my word for it. Do the research. Check out how the calcium can actually increase the chances of heart disease or heart attacks. Um, also, uh, so yeah, that. So don't take calcium. Don't drink milk. Do not drink milk, especially skim milk, because all you're getting is the sugar. You're not getting any of the fat. Do not drink regular milk, okay? Um, because it has sugar in it, and it actually does not help build strong bones. Um, one thing you can use as a replacement for milk, if you like the taste, is to drink heavy cream or raw cream. I, I get raw cream from the farmer's market, and that's typically what I like to use. Um, so just I found out that even raw milk is just, it's just not good. It's packed with sugar and um, proteins, and even though it's raw and the lactase is still in it and it helps break down the lactose, it's still not good to get the calcium from it, all right? Now, what you can do to build strong bones is resistance, weight-bearing exercises, okay? You want to use weight-bearing exercises to help build strong bones because the stress on your bones is what helps build stronger bones, okay? Like push-ups, pull-ups, maybe even some weightlifting. I don't do a lot of weightlifting. I do more calisthenics, but that's still weight-bearing exercises because you're using your own body as resistance. So you're still getting that resistance. Also, you don't, you know, yeah, so that helps walking. Uh, that'll help build the bones in your legs and your knees. I have bad knees and bad shoulders, uh, believe it or not, really bad. So I do whatever I can to help prevent it from inflaming and causing me problems because I'll tell you what. When, when when my joints are inflamed and the joints on my knees and whatnot are inflamed, it's a problem for me. And that's why I kick the tree. And that's why I kick the heavy back so hard. So to build strong shins. That's how you build strong shins by kicking. That's how you build strong elbows, right? By elbowing, elbowing things, you know? That's how you build strong hands, by punching things. See what I'm saying? So that's how you build strong knuckles. That's how you build strong wrist. That's how you build strong fingers. Resistance, resistance, resistance. Not supplements. Also, check out my shirt, fisticuffs. Um, you uh, you know, I don't really wrap. I don't wrap my hands anymore. I just use this for the bag, you know, just to help, you know. And then some. Uh, then half the time, I don't use these things when I hit the heavy bag just again to help build the strength in your knuckles all right um so that's the key to building strong bones and keeping bones strong you know by resistance resistance you got to go out there you got to exercise okay now i'm gonna give you another tip about hand speed okay there's one crucial thing well there's many crucial things in regards to building hand speed, you know, 
a lot of it is by training and practicing and you know shadow boxing you know movement things like that see anyway one key thing that I do and many boxers do this okay they stay loose in the shoulders the shoulders are very loose there's no tension they're not like this they're not all up in there you know not, not bunched up if you look at a boxer especially those good boxers that always seem to have great hand speed and a lot of good movement and a lot of good defense they're loose right they're loose and I get the power from my punches from the ground up using my hips right you incorporate your whole body including your core when you're boxing that footwork helps that's why you got to get that good footwork now right stay loose the looser you are the faster your hands go out there right you can work those angles get that good defense you know so you want to stay loose you want to stay loose until the end of the punch that's when you have the most power that's when you put the power you put the power at the end of that punch you know I don't even close my fist until I'm at the end of the punch until I make contact right before I make contact boom I'm closing my fist and I'm putting that power in there you keep your hands open right while you're not punching that helps reserve energy so you reserve energy you stay loose it's easy to defend that way right you defend sit keep your hands open it's easier to catch a, a jab or parry when your hands are open and like I said you save energy and you put the power at the end of that punch that's where you exert, exert most of that energy and you make sure you breathe right that breath that breath control is really what helps it saves you energy the more oxygen you have the more energy you have that's the whole point that's how your cells are built and therefore that's how you are built you need the oxygen for energy okay you need that oxygen and you also need to stay hydrated what I do I get a, um, I get some you get a highlight uh, the company you can get the uh, the drops right that has the calcium not calcium it has the um, it has the potassium right magnesium and, and the sodium chloride these are things that help keep you hydrated these are the electrolytes that you need in your body when you're exercising it replaces the ones that you're losing I don't need no fancy drink I don't put no fancy powders in there just the drops that and I use that as an after workout drink yes so right now what I'm doing is I'm doing fasting cardio which means I'm not eating anything I'm just drinking that water that's it that's all I'm drinking until it's time for me to break my fast after about 16 to 18 hours of fasting okay that helps also it helps your body reach autophagy okay autophagy is when your body targets the old tired cells in your body breaks them down and use them for other things you can also target cancer cells so you're not consuming any sugar you're not feeding the cancer you're not feeding the parasites your body will then attack those parasites those bad parasites and those cancer cells and those old tired cells those old normal cells that are doing a lot of work that damn near broke down it keeps your mitochondria healthy okay so it breaks all that down and uses it uses the old tired cells and replenishes your body with the things that it needs you give your if, if, if you're not eating all day right or if you fast for 18 hours 16 to 18 hours you give your body time to rebuild itself your skin will start to look better you'll lose weight you'll feel better you have more energy 
Like I have a lot of energy right now. I don't know if you can tell. I have a lot of energy right now. And I haven't eaten nothing since 5 o'clock. No, 6 o'clock. Since 6 o'clock yesterday. I haven't eaten since 6 o'clock. And I have all this energy. And it's, it's helped by the electrolytes that I put in my water that I replenish my body with. And any fat that I have on me is being burned for fuel. Because there's no sugar there. I haven't consumed any sugar. Okay? I haven't consumed any sugar, so therefore, I'm getting all the energy from the fat and from the electrolytes that are in my body. I'm fueling my body. Okay? So, those are some things that you know, I wanted to, to throw at y'all real quick. So, anyway. Fast hand speed. You know? You know, just stay loose. It'll make you... It helps with defense. Anyway, I'm going to let y'all later. Um, much love. And let me know in the comment section if you found this information useful. Uh, hit that like button. Share, share the video. Subscribe. Whatever. Uh, I'll let y'all later.